Hi, I'm Tara Jane Koch, and today I want to talk a little bit about scheduling and balance. Um, I know sometimes when I get started with working out and stuff, it ends up feeling like it takes up a lot of my time because I get kind of obsessive with things. <laughs> so I'll like get into something and I spend tons and tons of time doing it, but obviously that kind of messes up everything else, like the house doesn't get taken care of, you know, I don't spend as much time with my girls, and it's just, you know, a really bad way to live, you know. <laughs> <coughs> so, I am finally really starting to um, create boundaries for myself. Um, I actually just hired a life coach, and I think just the act of hiring her has helped me feel better. I don't know, like, feel more focused and like I'm really going to be moving forward and kicking butt in 2015. And um, so, yes, I started yesterday with my new boundaries that I'm placing on myself. And this really applies to anyone. Um, if you work for yourself or you, um, you work at home, because, you know, some people um, freelance or they work or someone else, but they do their work at home, or if you're a stay-at-home mom, you know, like, just any time when you get to set your own schedule, it can be hard, because it's just like, oh, I set my own schedule, so I can do anything I want whenever I want, you know, I don't need a schedule, I'll just get things done, but it doesn't work that way, you have to make, you have to set your own boundaries for yourself ahead of time for you to follow going forward, otherwise a lot of times we say we're going to get stuff done, and it just never happens. Sorry, my hair is like, I was trying to figure out what's going on with it, but okay. <laughs> Sorry, I get distracted. See, this is why I need a schedule. <laughs> so, what I've decided to do, um, for a while in the mornings, I would do some work, and then I would get home from um, dropping off my girls, and I would do some more work. But the thing is, is I wouldn't be focused, because I'm just thinking, oh, I, get I have all day. So I would do stuff, but... I don't know, I don't feel like I was being very effective. And then, you know, I we cook meals, most of the time it'd be like, holy crap, it's, you know, past supper time, I need to get something together, you know, stuff like that, just all the time. And I'd be at my computer, doing some work, wandering aimlessly through my Facebook news feed, you know, stuff like that, just because it, when you have your own schedule, sometimes it feels like, oh, I can I can just take as much time as I need, but then you end up not accomplishing anything. It's so tough. So, my new schedule, in the mornings when I wake up, I start with cleaning the house. I feel like if I can do that first thing in the morning, then no matter how much mess the girls create throughout the day, at least I know the next morning I'll be doing some cleaning to get the day started off right especially my kitchen. I hate having a messy kitchen, so if I can get all the dishes done and put away in the morning, that just starts my day off right. So I have that dedicated time, and then when I wake the girls up, and I just focus on getting us ready. I stop cleaning. I don't do any work on my computer. I just, that's just all we're doing, and it went so smoothly this morning and so smoothly yesterday morning because um, I was just focusing on them. I wasn't checking things on my phone while trying to get them dressed and you know like multitasking is overrated it does not work you don't really multitask you just switch quickly between tasks and then nothing is as effective so or it, nothing gets done as efficiently as it would if you just focus on the one task so I dropped the girls off at school I came home spent some time um, getting my youngest settled in because she's still at home with me so you know I made her some breakfast and um, got her set up with something to play with and everything, and then I started working, okay, so I am kind of establishing my own little, like, 9 to 5 schedule for myself, and, um, it's, it's, it's still nice because, you know, I still stop and go pick up my daughters from school, and I still have flexibility, but I am enforcing um, limits for myself so that I can really work efficiently. Um, so then, you know, at lunchtime, I will make sure to stop and make lunch for me and my daughter. Sometimes it's just like throwing stuff together, but I'm really going to focus on making all of our meals at mealtime 
and cleaning up the kitchen as soon as we're done. So taking a little break, stepping away from work, and just focusing on that. Then um, I'll have my little power hour between picking up my preschooler and picking up my kindergartner. I always have like a little area of time where I'm just working really hard for an hour there. And then I pick up my oldest, bring her home. As soon as she gets home, we sit down and we look through her book bag. This is something that I didn't, I didn't do for a long time. Like, I'm just not used to being the mom of a school-aged kid. So we sit down, look through her book bag, um, see if there are any notes that I need to look at. Like, seriously, there's so many times where it's just last minute where I'm like, oh my goodness, you, something is going on today. And it's not fun at all. So we're trying to get more organized in that sense, too. So then I worked for a little bit longer up until it was time to make supper. Then as soon as I started making supper, work time was over. Okay? I, I checked in my groups two or three times. But I just checked in and then shut the computer back, you know, throughout the evening, mostly because I had asked questions in a few groups, so I was seeing if I had any responses. And um, then I just, I got the laundry, I folded laundry, watched a movie with my daughters, spent time with them. It was so nice. And then anytime I thought of something I needed to do, I put it on my to-do list. So then I wouldn't think about it anymore and I would know that I could do it tomorrow because it wasn't that important. So I hope you get a lot of value out of this and I hope maybe I gave you some ideas for how you can run your schedule too. Um, but overall, I just it helps so much. You have to um, set boundaries for yourself. All right, thanks for watching.